so we'll so once we have we are done with asset class we are done with number range then we have the screen layout rules what does it mean we create the screen layout rules because and then we assign it to different asset class the reason is every asset has a different nature for example if we compare building vehicle and machinery three items or let's say building machinery building vehicle and and laptop and computers right so building will not have any license plate number laptop will not have any license plate number but vehicle will have similarly machinery will have the laptop will have its tag number right the laptop serial number but same thing building will not have building will have its location the street address everything or other dimensions or other parameters but laptop will not have we will have vendor for laptop but we will not have for land so the parameters of the asset differ every time we have an based on class the field we need to maintain is different okay so that's why you know if you see here we have real estate building machinery furniture vehicles for every different asset class we have one assignment so let's take create one we we'll, we will have okay we created one buildings and now i will assign it to my asset class this one that's how i assign my asset class now when i go to this we have another tab specify chart of depreciation screen layout and account assignment so if i go here my asset class and i'll select this dependent data then i have to activate this asset class in my chart of depreciation okay so here we have so this is how we activate asset class in the chart of depreciation now if i go to second one it will not be visible okay so i have to activate the second one now it is activated in these two so i'll say okay make it active in this one then i go to the third one then this is active in no chart of depreciation so i'll go and say make it active in my chart of depreciation and based on chart of depreciation i can change the rule i can change the screen layout i can change the account determination so that's how it works so for example if in us i want to a different if one chart of depreciation is assigned to multiple company codes and in one company code i want to use different chart of depreciation and i another i want to use different the account determination i can do that from here
ओके सो दिस इज जस्ट लेट मी समराइज वॉट वी हैव डन वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ कंपनी आया कंपनी कोड वी हैव डन द बेसिक हाई लेवल जील सेटिंग्स एंड देन वी मूव ऑन टू क्रिएशन ऑफ यू नो द एसेट एसेट स्पेसिफिक कन्फिग्रेशन we assign chart of depreciation we assign uh, we created chart of depreciation we assign chart of depreciation then we went into account determination we created number range we create screen layout we create we created asset class okay so this is what we have done till now moving ahead we will have integration with gl so the next topic is integration how defined depreciation area as post to gl so this is one of the key step where you tell system that this depreciation area will post and this depreciation area will not post for example tax area doesn't post to gl but the leading ledger area post to gl but if you want that non leading area should also post to gl you have to tell system here itself and it is by chart of depreciation this is at the chart depreciation chart level setting okay so if you double click this now it gives you all the details so the setting here is area do not post area post in real time area post only depreciation an area post apc immediately and depreciation periodically okay so this is post in real time then we have assignment to the ledger principal real depreciation area and then we have value maintenance perspective what kind of values are we expecting are we expecting a positive or are we expecting negative so somewhere we have positive somewhere we have negative for example acquisition cannot be negative right we cannot have negative acquisition on the asset depreciation cannot be positive we have unplanned depreciation only negative value as allowed we cannot have unplanned any depreciation as positive so that's how it control the values ordinary depreciation also again negative values only we cannot have depreciation as positive revaluation we have no revaluation normally so this is how you can change the area okay so since we have only one ledger group so it is only appearing here
okay. So next step is assign GL accounts. So GL account is something you know we we assign for the posting, and as I discussed, you know, asset is assigned to the asset class, and asset class will further call the account determination, and account determination will call the GL account. So this is the screen where we do the setting. We have a chart of depreciation, chart of account assigned. Then we go to account determination, and then if I see my asset class, which is not appearing, I don't know why. Did I activate my asset class? It should appear. Okay, I'll see. Let's take example first example the buildings. And then we have balance sheet account. And then we go to area zero one and here we have the GL account assignment. So for successful financial postings, we have to give the GL accounts here. So it will determine the cost account, it will determine the the depreciation account, any accounting which happen on, on that asset which is assigned to this asset class will be controlled from here. All the GL account settings are automatic. So you cannot directly have anything, any posting on, on asset directly on GL account for assets even if it's a down payment it's clearing it's sale loss retirement everything has to be done from here okay so let's assign some GL account here. Let me see if I can find out something. Sorry. I have to assign the description. There we have AA01 and then we assign this GL account. And then we go to depreciation. Then we will find something for depreciation also. So here we have accumulated depreciation for buildings, then we have expense account for
so we don't have any expense account for depreciation so let us create so let's do one thing let's create one GL account that would be an easy way okay so then we will assign so that will provide us an end-to-end -end view we have one let's make it building so we have six four zero zero sixty let's close this we have six four zero zero sixty same will go for unplanned so we have other buckets okay special depreciation is for tax unplanned depreciation you normally post unplanned values seven zero zero one zero and then we save it 